All right. Welcome to the vlog, everybody. I hope you are Tudo Bang. I will say Ivana and I are extremely Tudo Bang today because we are excited to share this vlog with you guys. It should be lots of fun. So obviously as tourists, Ivana and I love to do tourist attractions, museums, markets, maybe admiring the beautiful vistas, beaches or waterfalls or what have you. But one of the best parts of traveling in our experience is experiencing local culture. Now culture is a big word that's very hard to describe and hard to define. But one of the aspects of the Sao Paulo culture we love is this idea of botecos. Yes. So it seems like there's a boteco on every single street corner. And some street corners have four botecos, one on each corner. <laughs> and what's great is there doesn't seem to be a recipe for what makes a popular boteco. It could be more of a bar for drinking beer and cervejas. Mm -hmm. It could be like a juice bar that specializes in acai, uh, suco de acai. It could be somewhere that has live music. It could be a hangout for more... Uh, feijoada yeah. on Wednesdays or food. It seems like there's are local establishments that are uh, the personality of the owner sort of comes through. Yeah. And honestly, when I'm sitting in a boteco and I am watching the world pass me by, watching all the interesting characters come <laughs> in and out, I feel like I am participating in Sao Paulo culture. That's true. I feel like one of the locals sitting in a boteco. Yes. And so in this video, we have no plan really. We might go to one boteco and spend all day there. We might wander around to five different botecos, but we do yeah. have our friend Art with us. Hello. You guys know him from his channel. Make sure to subscribe. You'll see him in the comments and in the description and probably on the screen right now. Sure. So make sure to check out Gringo Nation. We will go for some lunch. We will go for some cervejas, maybe some caparinas, <laughs> maybe some coxinhas. Lots of stuff happening today and we can see the local Sao Paulo culture of these local uh, tiny little botecos. All right, let's go. Saúde, saúde. Of course, start the day with original. <laughs> and I will say shout out to Brazil for having ice cold beer. Mm -hmm. We just spent like six months in Europe where it's kind of cold. Right, right. It's not right. Ice cold original. Let's go. And I heard if it's not cold enough, you can actually send it back and ask for a new one. True. Even though they already opened it. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Let's drink. Okay, so when you go to Boteca here in Brazil, you should order finger foods. This porcos right here. Oh, porcos. 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 What's porcos? Porcos is pigs. Porcos is pigs. Porcos. Porcos. We can also order pigs. We can also order pigs. It's pouring rain now, and I also got acerola juice, vitamin C, and tapioca, manioca. Cheers. If you guys eat ketchup with your uh, cassava fries, yo, this hot sauce is no joke. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. I put two drops and my lips are numb. To be honest, french fries or fried cassava? I understand how this would be more exotic and traditional Brazilian, but I might be more of a french fry guy. Yeah. Boom, is he even Brazilian? Oh, but we, we eat a lot of french fries in Brazil. All right, so good news, it has stopped raining, or at least slowed down raining. Mm -hmm. and we are on our way to our second Boteco. I think we're passing another one right here. And this one looks like a barber shop from the outside. No, it's not a barber shop, it's a Boteco. Oh, this is great, this is great. What's that? Is this a Boteco or a barber shop? <laughs> That's what I thought it was. Huh? It looks like a barber shop, no? Boteco, tabong. This is my kind of experience here. Yeah. The local. Uh, I think it was a barbershop. I think it was a barbershop. Alright. Uh, no seats. Okay, we stand. If cannot sit, we just stand. We're going to sit there. We're going to take their chairs with their beers. beers. And then we're going to tell them that the next one, we're going to tell them that uh, the next one we're going to buy from them because they're friends. They're friends. That's so okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll take, we'll, we'll pay interest on the chairs. Something we'll pay like one, one beer interest exactly. on the chairs. Just fantastic. And this is what I mean, guys. Now, obviously, we're, we're much before the rush. About 5 p.m. or 6 p.m., it'll be busy. 
Right now it's about 3 p.m. So this we're a little a early. This is more very local, authentic. Yeah. Boteco. This is a nice boteco here. This is a nice little boteco. And so we'll be clear to them. The first beer comes from your competitor, but the second beer will be uh, <laughs> on the house. I mean, on us. You know what I mean. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is called a camisinha, uh -huh. which literally means little shirt. Okay. A nice beer uh, insulator, <laughs> known as the cold. little shirt. Uh, important to put your hands up here. Last thing you want to do is hold like this, and then, oh. then you look like a real gringo. <laughs> so we hold like this, and we use our camisinha. Camisinha? Close enough, he says. <laughs> little shirt. Uh, Saúji. Here's to uh, here's to the Botago culture in oh, Sao Paulo. Yeah. Ice cold, no? Ice cold. cold, like almost frozen. Yeah. It's just the way you want beer. Yeah. It's just the way you want it. Perfect for a rainy day. Perfect. <laughs> I love this kind of like local Botega. It looks a little bit older, a little bit. It's not dirty, but it looks a little bit dirty just because it's older. Dirty, dirty is a bad word. Let's say, let's say unrenovated. Unrenovated. Vintage. Vintage yeah. is a good one, and yes. As you can see, like, the sign got some writings on yeah. top of it. It's and you cannot smoke, nice. actually. There's a sign that you cannot smoke because we're under the roof. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay, fair. Even though we're outside. So you can smoke out there, right there. This is a nice yeah. local spot. It yeah. feels like you're part of the city. Yeah. More than being behind a glass yeah. panel with AC and you're tucked right, away. Right, you're right. sort of it's in the street. Local. You're sort of part of it here. Local feel. And yeah. I love it on the inside. Every boteco, like the um, kind of like the older ones, has a big bottle of kacha. <laughs> Oh my yeah. god, I can still. You've I got, cannot say it's the yeah, yeah. Kashaza. <laughs> I would think it's Kashaza. Kashasha. <laughs> Anyway, there's a huge bottle inside, which yeah. is very interesting. And I yeah, think it's super duper affordable. I think you can put a cup up there and fill a cup for a yeah. uh, dollar or two. That's right. There you have it. Now, lucky us that the one across the street, which we were trying <laughs> to go opened. to, just opened up. This we're one is called Capivara, so we'll go there now and have one more drink. Just great. I mean, you can't beat it. <laughs> Another one with a really nice inside. Cool stuff hanging, local place, can't beat it. Cerveja, original. This one's actually huge. Yeah. It's. I think they've expanded. Maybe they started in the corner. Probably just started with this here. And then they bought this one. And then they bought this one. And now they got like four of them. And there's a pool table over here. The interior is very cool. Unfortunately, we cannot film in there, in that Botica Cap. What is it called? Cap Capivara. Capivara. Which is a bit of a shame because it's super yeah. nice place. <laughs> That's true, but I mean, but fortunately, Botecas are everywhere all around the corner here. So we'll, we'll just to wander one. to the next street yeah. corner and find another one. It looked super nice in there, but they were <laughs> nervous about the... They said, no, no video. Yeah, it's a very popular place. Uh, for some reason, they don't want people filming. Yeah. Um, maybe mm. because they've had some sort of bad experience. Maybe they had a bad experience. We yeah. could have easily stayed there. But at the same time, we also want to film while we drink and while yeah. we eat, So yeah. that's fun. So let's go to the next one. And make all think. parties involved happy. Going to the next place. The next one. I'm sure there'll be one more down here. No shortage of botecos. If you just keep walking, you'll keep finding more botecos. Also, the sun is sort of coming out a little bit, and we're nearing five o'clock, so maybe the uh, crowd, the crowd will start coming. <laughs> well, we will get it busy. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, here we go, guys. Next stop, boteco number. Oh, here. Look at this. Another boteco. Oh, very nice with the uh, street art, with the uh, graffiti. Very nice uh, Boteco there. Now we're going there. Okay, look at that. We found another one. We were going to go further, but why go further when you can go closer? Yet another Boteco. And uh, starting to get more and more filled up. So many Botecos. 
so yeah. many Botecos. It's pretty rude. We'll right. go here? No. No, we're going on the Okay, one more. We've got a certain Botego in mind. But uh, super, there's two side by side here. This one looks really nice, actually. Another Botego. Again, looks really, really nice. Super local, kind of graffiti with the metal bars, but super nice looking. Uh, love it. Really love this. Really love it. Okay, next stop, Boteco number one, two, Look, three, I guess four. Coquero, number four, you see? Number four. But we're going to number... Oh, there's another one right here. Uh, Via Coquero, number four. Super fancy. Maybe we'll go to number three. Oh, so there was number one originally. Exactly. And he got famous, he got a second one. He, he, he got even more popular. And uh, he, not famous, but popular, successful, got some more yeah. coins. And then they made a third one, fourth one. Yeah. So okay, Via Coquero, number three. Ivana's got a good eye. Look at this thing. Where am I? Dubai or uh, Sao Paulo? Look at this thing. Holy jumping. Ivana, Ivana, have I been drinking too much or is this building sideways? <laughs> be honest, just be honest. <laughs> the leading tower of Sao Paulo. The leading tower of Sao Paulo. And here we are at uh, Boteco number four. Villa Coquero uh, Tree. Tres. 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 Hey, Tree Champion. Uh, tree Garoto. Champion. <laughs> All right, let's have a cerveza. Saoji, Saoji. Saoji, Saoji, Saoji. I love the uh, design of these Botecos. Very inv inviting. Very friendly bars. Yeah. There are blue ships and there are red ships. <laughs> but the best ships are? French ships. That's right. <laughs> and because of that, and because you've really been enjoying Brazilian culture right. lately, and because I know you like cachaça, mm. I brought you a cachaça from Rio. Wow. That it's, it's quality stuff. It's not like the one we had in Liberdade. It's, it's good stuff. And I thought you might like it. So. Is it is it wrong to open and drink now? It's not wrong to open and drink now. It says Uro, which I think oh, means black. Means gold. Means gold. Yeah. I got mixed up from Uro Preto. Uh, this means gold. Uro Preto means black gold. That's why I thought this meant black. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is gold cachaza from Rio. From Rio, exactly. Uh, Must yeah. drink now. <laughs> Straight out. Yeah. Oh, it smells very good. It smells a bit like tequila, but a bit like rum. In between tequila and rum. Six stars. Six stars. Six stars. Actually, so smooth. You should have. You should have. So smooth, guys. Very nice. Although I will say, when it comes to cachaça, be careful because it tastes better than than it uh, it tastes less strong than it is. I should say. Let's saoji. Saoji, saoji, saoji. I will say. You can say let's bring that. Let's bring that. Bring that. Bring that. Bring that. Bring that. I love the color of this beer. Right, by let's, the way. let's let's cheer it. Let's bring. Vamos brindar. Oh, this is nice beer. Yeah, very good. Yo, what is this one called? Yeah. Colorado. Well, no, so Colorado has many different types. Uh, this oh. is the Injica. Ah. See, like India Pale Ale. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Salud. 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 All right, we just got two beers. And special thanks to Art for the incredible gift. <laughs> oh, yes, that's Genade, right. Genade. We got uh, one original and one Colorado beer, and it costs a little bit more pricier than the regular Boteco. High five. Let's go. It's a street Boteco. Yeah. Oh, I, this is like a... Coco. Agua de coco? Yes. So it's hard. It's hard. This is actually cool. It's like, a, it's it's like an ice Jack cube, of co a coconut water ice cube. This with Jack Daniels. With Jack Daniels. That's what I want, for sure. Uh, Jack. For sure. Uh, 
Tudo bom? Tudo bom, meu amigo. Tudo bom, amigo. Tudo bom, tudo bom. Tudo bom. Fala bem-vindo, sou. Jack Dennis. Isso é lá. Tá bom. Jack Dennis, this is a drink. That's it? Yeah, with the coconut ice. Boom. Aí, só que aqui, tipo, eles tomam muito com energético, né? Aí, como ele só quer puro. É, é. Não, ele está dizendo que você não quer a energia que você está Like Red Bull or something? No, no need. That's it, tá bom? Tá bom. Saúde. Ivana. This is not Ivana. exactly a botico, but it's a street botico. Street drinks street outside botico. of the botico. Ivana, take a, take a sip of this and tell me it's the best thing you ever drank in your life. <laughs> no. She loves it. She loves this it. This caffeine uh, ca cachaça is better. Don't be shy. Oh, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Oh, boy. Finish it. Finish I, it. I wish the, the coconut ice would melt a little, but... Oh, that's the coconut, coconut ice. Coconut ice. Well, it is what it is. It's whiskey, isn't it? Whiskey and coconut ice. It'll be, it's probably watered down, but whatever. Hey, no problemo, dude. Six dollars, you're paying. We got a drink at the street bar. I think it costs 35 reals. You might get so a it, tourist price. It, it might have been tourist not. pricing. It wasn't the best price <laughs> I ever seen. Uh, it does taste like pretty good. Okay, great. <laughs> I got it. Oh, All right, waiting for the change. Oh, still waiting for our change. Ah, our change comes okay. from next door. They do the sales here, they do the transaction next door. <laughs> What's your favorite drink? I don't drink. You don't alcohol. drink? Yeah. Don't drink alcohol. <laughs> you never I do. only sell it. <laughs> you never do your own stash. That's, that's never it. get high on your own supply. That's right. That's, that's right. right. That's what Smart I'm guy. Well, your English Smart is guy. good. Thank you. Thank you. I used to work in a hotel ah, nearby, okay. so I okay. had to practice. You know, okay. And you sell drinks? All right. There it is. Okay. Obrigada. Thank you. Obrigada. All right. Next stop, uh, fancy. Next stop is called Pichiku. 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 Fancy. Boteca. <laughs> Look at this, lots of uh, street bar. Uh, probably worth 25 real over here. Probably got robbed <laughs> by 10 real. Hello, brothers. I'm not gonna lie, there's a big chunk of ice in my drink here. Yeah, that's a coconut uh, juice box. Uh, it is. It is cool that it's uh, uh, coconut <laughs> ice instead of normal ice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean. So you can see uh, everyone's coming out. Yeah. It's like 5 p.m. now. So work has quit and everyone's coming out. And to be clear, it's a rainy Thursday. <laughs> so if it was a sunny day, it'd be even more people. Yeah, or a weekend, it will be like this street will be filled with people. But this culture of the Botecos is a daily thing. Once work quits, People are in the boteco, yeah. drinking and talking, and you can meet people. It's pretty yeah, great. Yeah, and actually, in the local, uh, authentic, older botecos, like a bunch of older gentlemen would get together with his friends and would just drink beer. Is, this is a boteco. No. This no, is no. More, this is more a bar. This is more of a bar. Yeah. This is kind of more high society. High society. Well, not high society, like like uh, a fancy bar. Middle upper. Class. Good this thing they didn't fan. just see my cup fan. full of whiskey and a juice box in it. <laughs> oh, but a, a lot of people that come here would do that as well. Okay, uh, fair. Anyway, let's get a seat. You guys yeah, remember Jambu from uh, Paulista, Paulista, uh, Paulista Avenue, Avenue yeah. with Sunday Art. Walk, yeah. The mouth tingling cachaza. cachaza. Yeah. It makes your loose lips. <laughs> it makes your loose lips. <laughs> But this, is a, this seems to be a cultural thing in uh, Brazil. It's like drink and be merry. Wow. Nice it. Uh -huh. it's a little bit sour. It's not too sweet, which I like. Yeah, because she was like, uh, mm. something in the alcohol is going to cancel out the sugar. The sugar. That's interesting. So this, yeah. this is not exactly a Boteco, although we did go to a super nice Boteco with Gustavo. Like a fancy one, yeah. And we made sure to get a shot of the sign that said Boteco. Yeah. Because we thought a lot of people would say, that's not a Boteco. Super duper nice, uh, the big glass taps with the beer on them. Super, super fancy bar. Fancy people, everyone was dressed nicely, young and, and kind of uh, good looking people all around. It was 
not a traditional Boteco experience, although that was yeah. a memorable Boteco. I think the fancy Boteco is more likely office, people who just got off of work and they want to enjoy some drinks. Right. And the traditional Boteco, the older looking one, is more of like... Uh, construction. Deep construction and the people who live in the neighborhood. Before we started traveling, I was construction worker. That's why those kind of lesser Botecos, I love those places. I really yes. feel comfortable yes. and I feel like I'm at home in those places. Oh, you know what else? I forgot to mention the, the other fancy bar we went to in Gustavo the other day, Olivier Bar, where uh, they're very creative at creating the drinks and also the presentation is very creative. We got like one with a teddy bear, we got one with the shark. It's a very hype bar. Yeah, very hype bar. Hype. It's very hype. It's a very brilliant idea because the bar itself, I would guess, does no marketing because yeah. everyone who goes there takes their phone out and does the marketing. Literally all around us, everyone is taking Instagram photos. The drinks yeah. are unbelievable. Yeah. It's something unique. It's really it's unique. It's very unique. We ordered a couple drinks and they were all very creative and fun. We got like a special delivery. We got like a Beauty and the Beast theme. It you cool. it name cool. it, you yeah. name it, they had it. Although, yeah. again, not a Boteco. That's not a Boteco, it's a bar. But so, what does differentiate like a Boteco and a regular bar? I think the first thing to consider would be prices. Prices? Um, we, if we get a long neck beer here, it might cost, I mean, I haven't been in Brazil in two years, but I'm guessing it'll cost about 15 reais. Okay. Whereas at a Boteco, we were getting a big beer for about 10 reais. So that, I think that would be one of the main differences. The second one is you can get uh, full-blown meals at Putecos. Like you got rice and beans and beef and french fries. Like more traditional, more traditional Brazilian meals. At small prices. Right. We're here, we're going to order a porção, like a finger food thing. And it's yeah. going to be the price of uh, if we got like four full-blown yeah. meals at a Putecos. And, and bars is more like burgers, like Western food. Exactly, more fries. Western. Yeah, right. more Western okay. culture and things like that. All right. That's all for today. We're going to enjoy our drinks. And we'll end the night here. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel if you like our videos. Love you guys. We'll just be tingling here. We'll tingling. be tingling. We're Happy tingling. tingling. Bye. Tingling Steve. Over and out. <laughs> all right. The night has fallen. And look at this place. It's more lively. Uh, rainy Thursday night. Yeah. Tons of people. Botecos. Cervejas. Caparinas, <laughs> uh, Cochinas, all things ended us. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Could be more fuller, but it's because it's a little bit rainy and it's not a weekend. Oh, amigas, Amiga? lady friends. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's go home. <laughs> let's go home.